Good day, people. Patrick Evan here bringing you today's Matthew devotion. Um, we're still doing a little catch-up work, so I'm jumping back into the baptism section uh, of Matthew in chapter 3. And today, I simply want to talk about the one little phrase, and it's in uh, verse 8. And this is from John's lips. And what he's telling the people who come out to see him, specifically in this case, probably uh, the, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, Again, this is a group of people that are um, the leaders of the church, um, in a way. I mean, the Sadducees are probably the elite class. They were the ones who probably managed the temple. They were kind of the leadership of the temple. And the Pharisees were the people's people. They were the people's religious leaders. Um, they both the, These two groups kind of didn't get along necessarily. They had, they had disagreements. But John is, bl- is chunking them in one section, in, in one group, calling them one group. And he says this bear fruit in keeping with repentance. And uh, man, it is so, the whole idea of bearing fruit, I think we all get, it's very simple. It's that there are plants, I, I don't know if you've ever like planted a garden in your yard or had fruit trees in, in, your, in your property or anything like that. <clears throat> but there are like good seasons and bad seasons. And, um, you know, sometimes you get good rain, sometimes you don't. But when he's talking about people, uh, it's pretty powerful because, man, <laughs> it's one of those things where you're like, no, God has provided the, the good season. He prov- provides all of the inputs, so to speak, right? And it's faith in him that actually allows you to, to bear fruit. Um, and it's a call that continues in Scripture, um, Jesus talks about it. In fact, he talks about good fruit, or good trees and bad trees and those type of things. And, and this is, the thing that's super interesting is in keeping with repentance. It's like, it's like you're bearing fruit worthy or of, of the repentance, right? It's, it's, it's worthy fruit. Um, but I think by definition, that means you have to keep repentance in mind. See, I think too often we think repentance um, is kind of a, it's like a, a one and done thing or, it, or maybe even we see it as um, it's just this every now and, th- now and again thing. But in reality, I believe that repentance is kind of an ongoing, you, you continually find those moments in your day where you're not living out this ethic of the kingdom. And you say, God, I'm sorry. I mean, it, it, it's by his power that we bear fruit, Right. Uh, so through his spirit, we have to constantly go back and say, I want to bear good fruit. And there are these moments where I'm not, I'm not bearing fruit. And maybe you can you use the image from your garden. Maybe you know those times when you did a bad job of keeping your soil moist or, or whatever. And you know that the bad fruit comes up, right? Well, in this case, it's basically saying, God, I'm relinquishing the fruit bearing. I, I can't bear fruit without you. I need you in the middle of this. And in order to keep that with our repentance, it's basically saying, okay, well, here's some, being clear with, here's some things that I'm doing that I need help with. There are some, some things in my day. Maybe it's quick, a quick tongue. Maybe it is um, uh, how you actually think about people. Not that it ever comes out. You might be perfectly polite and nice, but your mind is telling you something about that person that's probably not very nice and, and not worthy of an image bearer. They're an image bearer, you're an image bearer, no matter if they know Jesus or not. They were designed to be image bearers. So it's one of those things where my point is we must constantly remind ourselves that daily in prayer and our Bible work and in our living, um, sometimes we need to remember that our fruit is keeping with our repentance. So these things go hand in hand in a way. Um, so would you do that with me today? I, I'm trying to think of things that, you know, maybe there's some parts of my garden that need weeding. There are some things that I need to do. There are things that I need to be cognizant of. There are things that I need to be constantly aware of is how am I measuring up? Um, but most of all, it's like there are times when I know I don't measure up. And that's when the beauty of the gospel can shine in the fact that Jesus has us taken care of. His grace is sufficient. It is he through his life, death, and resurrection, we are lifted up out of the mire of our sin and we're forgiven. We've been given mercy. Uh, and, and I think just knowing that is helpful and it actually helps you move forward 
and, and being more transformed into the likeness of his son because you can say, okay, yeah, that's the old me. We're putting that aside. And now, Lord, I need you to help me move forward and bear fruit in your kingdom. Okay? So in some ways, we're probably a lot like the Sadducees and Pharisees. There are times when we claim to be uh, those who are part of the kingdom may not look like it. Uh, find those moments. Find those things. And, and God's not done with any of us yet. So I pray you would take that with you today and every day. Okay, let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for this day. I thank you for your love and your, your generosity and your goodness. I thank you that through your spirit we can uh, be fruitful and that that fruit can be in step with our repentance, that we would constantly be coming back to you and saying, yeah, I, there are things about this I didn't get right today. Um, Father, we thank you that you are constantly present. Um, we, we thank you that you are moving us forward um, away from our old self into, into our new, that new creation has come and you're not done with us. We love you, we thank you, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, we'll see you next time.